Good morning guys, it is Saturday morning, bright and early. I don't even think it's eight o'clock yet and we are on our way to first the new house to drop off a load of stuff that we packed up this morning. And then we are going to a really big antique show that's at our state fairgrounds. Um, never been here before and David just like randomly found it I think or one of his co-workers maybe told him about it um, but for the new house that I definitely want to bring in some like I don't know a little bit more like depth I don't want so much white anymore and I kind of want to get some like older like antique worn pieces to add to the stuff that we already have so I'm really looking for like a bench to like put behind my couch I want like a buffet um, I don't know. I just want some like bigger cool pieces that are unique and just stuff that you can't like buy at West Elm basically. Love West Elm. No shade. But I just want to add some like more like character to the house. So we're headed off to the antique show and I have no idea what this is like. It could be like a total flop but we had no plans really this weekend and he told me about it and I was like, yeah, let's go. Might as well just walk around and um, see what they have. So thought it'd be kind of fun to bring you guys along and we'll just kind of go antique shopping together. Um, but yeah, I'll check in with you guys once we get in there. Um, hopefully we find some good stuff. Okay, we left the antique show and unfortunately didn't find anything. Um, I could have bought a couple of things, like there were some really cool like wooden bowls and some like felt pennants that I thought were really cool, but um, I knew going to this, like antique shows either are really expensive or I feel like very affordable and this one was more expensive, which I kind of thought it maybe would be. Um, so we didn't really get anything, but we did get a corn dog for breakfast, so can't really complain too much um and now we are gonna head to this store it's called blue dot i think there is a online store but i think it's just based out of minneapolis and they have an outlet store that is only open on the weekends so we're gonna go there because i'm struggling finding a dining table i found one that i'm obsessed with but it's so expensive and um yeah i'm just trying to find something that looks similar for a little bit less so we're gonna run in here hopefully find something Okay, we're back home. I think I found a table I like, but we have a sample. Let me show it to you quick. Here's the sample. It's very light, so we're gonna bring it to our house and just kind of see what it looks like against our um, flooring. But until then, because the guy that's doing our flooring was working this morning, I'm going to pack up my beloved white cabinet, which I feel like I've taken so many photos of. It's been like in so many videos. And I've been waiting to pack it up, but I think today is the day. So I'm gonna just pack all that stuff up, bubble wrap it all, and then that's the end of the cabinet. I mean, we're bringing it with us, so don't be too sad. Okay, it's a little bit later. I ran to the house to check on the floors and I'm not gonna lie, I'm freaking out a little bit because they're, I don't know. 
I just got to see them finished and I'm getting a little nervous is all I'm gonna say and then I lost my card yesterday and we just found out that someone spent how much was it uh, it's like $1,400. $1,400 on it. They like went because I lost it at the mall. So they just went to every little store they wanted to and bought a bunch of stuff. So that happened in like one hour and I just was kind of like panicking. But I think we got everything under control. It's all going to be good. And now I'm going to do a little project with the stuff that I found at the thrift store the other day. Um, I've heard... I don't know i gotta google it but i thought i saw a tiktok where people put this in like bleach water and it's supposed to like lighten it up a little bit um it's fine like this so if it doesn't work there's like no harm done but i'm just gonna try it out so david bought me some bleach and that's what i'm gonna do now try to distract myself <laughs> Good morning guys it is tuesday morning sorry our weekend vlog kind of just died off we had a couple things at the house that needed our attention and i just kind of put down the camera and was trying to like focus on that stuff um but anyways it is tuesday and i'm just kind of doing some things around the house today and i have to run a couple errands so i thought i'd bring you guys along um my first thing i'm gonna do is put away some of remy's new clothes and i thought i would show you guys a couple things that i got for her um i did kind of a big haul because i cleaned out her closet and all of her i swear like over 75 percent of her closet didn't fit her anymore i just feel like all of a sudden she's like too big for everything so we did quite a big purchase for like the spring going into summer um so i thought i would show you guys some things that i grabbed okay the first thing she's actually already wore and it's so cute it's this little set from zara i love buying their sets because i think they're just so cute together but then you can also obviously wear them separately but i just thought that one was so adorable a lot of this is from zara because it's my like favorite place to shop for her including these little shoes honestly i haven't really put her in a ton of shoes this winter we put her in these little booties but she doesn't really hasn't really wore shoes but now she's kind of starting to walk not totally by herself but i just wanted to get her a couple pairs of shoes and i thought these were super cute from zara this is really random but it's this little terry cloth um tank top and it's in 18 to 24 months which will be really big on her um but i thought she could almost just like wear it over her swimsuit as a little dress um i found this at tj maxx and it's quincy may which is a very expensive brand it's um by like riley crew it's like the same owners or whatever um but i found this for 4.99 at tj maxx and i just couldn't pass it up even though it's gonna be too big on her um i just had to grab it because i've never seen that brand at tj maxx and i got way too excited um back to zara i bought her these adorable little linen pants i swear i have like the same ones from zara and i wore them all last summer so i got her a pair of these so we can kind of be matching <laughs> oh my god oh my god i think it's a baby centipede what am i gonna use And then I got her this little yellow dress and it comes with little matching bloomers. I just thought that was super cute and a good like summer transitional piece. Um, also from Zara, this little white t-shirt could be kind of a dress but I'll put like little jean shorts or little shorts underneath it. I just thought it was really cute and a good basic same with this it's also from zara it's just more of a creamy one because i found her these little denim shorts from zara look at how flipping cute those are and i just thought um this would look really cute together so grabbed that and then we got her these really cute little pink trouser type pants they're kind of like a thicker linen material and then i thought this little t-shirt would be super cute with it 
like how adorable i feel like i would wear this um so i grabbed that i'm gonna just try to find all the zara stuff so that it's all together um this is a little romper are you kidding how cute is that I'm like so adorable i feel like in the spring i can just put a little jacket or cardigan or something over it um these pants are so cute they look a little big but i feel like they'll fit her all throughout the summer um but super cute oh my god these little things like killed me they're little denim shorts like overalls i don't know just so cute i like picture her with her little shoes on and it's so cute This she's also wore, but this is just a little swimsuit that I got for her. Love the little like checkered pattern. Everything looks so little, it's so cute. Then I grabbed a couple things at the Gap actually. I thought this little tank top was super cute. So I grabbed that and then these little denim shorts I thought would be kind of cute with that just for kind of a casual, casual day. And then these little pajamas are super cute she's obsessed with bananas and like saying bananas and seeing bananas so i just found these little pajamas um and they have little bananas on them so they have the matchy little top and then this little set is also from the gap i thought this was adorable comes with little it's a two-piece but it's like a little high-waisted bloomer and tank top thought that was adorable and I have like little white shorts so I thought she could wear this um, like top with other um, shorts and then also like just putting this with like a white shirt or something would be really cute oh this is just another little Zara t-shirt just something very basic and then I got her this long sleeve like creamed bodysuit just because they're super nice to be able to like keep stuff tucked in. Um, and then I got a couple things at H&M. This set, you guys, I want it in my size. I thought it was so adorable. Um, so it's this little shirt and then it comes with the matching shorts and i'm showing it really terribly but i think you get the point it's so freaking cute and it was 20 dollars, but you got two things so i picked that up in another color as well because i was obsessed with it and i just thought it was super cute and it's like really soft so i thought it'd be something like comfy for her to wear all the time and then this is the last thing i believe uh this little green jumpsuit and it has little daisies on it and then this is what sold me it came with a little matching bucket hat i'm dying it comes in a neutral stripe as well that i'm like very tempted to buy um but yeah i just thought this was too cute to pass up okay but that is everything that i got for remy and i'm gonna go put this away and just kind of clean up her room right now because there's a ton of clothes that need to be put away um i'm at this stage of moving if you can't tell that like my house feels very chaotic and a lot of stuff is packed but still like there's still a lot to pack and i just like don't really know where to start because we're gonna probably be here for another week almost so i don't want to pack up a bunch of stuff that we still need but i also am like we have a lot to pack still so that's kind of where i'm at I'm like do i like put her clothes away or do i just like pack these anyways that's my problem not yours so i'm gonna go upstairs and do something with these clothes okay actually i just checked my mail and i have two exciting packages coming in the mail today and um one is a pair of sunglasses which aren't here yet but i just got another thing i ordered which is a new pair of just it's a new pair of just kind of like everyday tennis shoes not like workout shoes but just ones i can wear like with an outfit like this like pretty casual <gasps> okay i love them i really wanted a pair of new balances but i could not find any that were all neutral that weren't sold out so i went to the next box thing and i found these super cute nike tennis shoes they kind of have this like orange in the front i'm so excited i'm totally gonna wear them today let's try them on and see um 
I will link these below, but um, yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, here they are. How cute are they? Okay, I'm obsessed with those. I will link them in the description if you guys are needing some like casual shoes for the summer. Um, so far they feel really comfortable and they're cute so all right now i'm gonna go put away these clothes i'm cleaning up my house and i have the windows open so sorry if it's loud but i wanted to touch base about my basket that i bleach dyed um and it worked it got so much lighter i'll try to maybe do like a before and after or something just to kind of show but yeah i just soaked this in bleach I just soaked this in bleach for like, I don't know, probably honestly a half hour to an hour. And yeah, it got a lot lighter and I think it'll look cute just hanging in her closet or in her bedroom somewhere. And it was literally $2. So love that. And I'm gonna keep cleaning and I'll touch base once we're at Trader Joe's. We've made it to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna run in and grab some groceries for the week. Um, we actually don't need a ton for this week. Um, I just need to buy like two meals basically and some like stuff for Remy. Um, but I thought it'd probably be a good idea to buy some of their like frozen like really quick meals that they have. They're actually pretty good and I just know this next like week or two are gonna be pretty like chaotic with the move. Um, and this will maybe like help us from not ordering out as much. So I'm gonna grab a couple of those type of meals this time. Um, so we'll go see what they have, but that's the plan anyways. So let's go. Trader Joe's and I thought I'd quickly show you guys everything that I got. Um, we'll start with produce. I got a bunch of bananas because Remy is obsessed. Then I bought some oranges and pears. Um, avocados for recipes. Blueberries always. Remy is literally obsessed with them. Lemons and limes. Some cilantro for a recipe. I'm going, going to um, cook up this zucchini for Remy. She also really likes zucchini. Um, I got this baby broccolini. It's so good as a side. If you, um, I would say it tastes like broccoli and asparagus mixed together. So if you like those two, you would probably really like them. Um, and then I got some cauliflower. Hold on. A quick side that we had at an Italian restaurant that we went to um, a while ago and I tried to make it at home and it's so good. So you take cauliflower or we've used um, whatever, Brussels sprouts and it's so good. But you take that, roast it in the oven with this hot bomba sauce and you toss it all together. Basically just bake the vegetables until they're soft and then you top them with like a shredded Parmesan and it's so good, just trust me. It's amazing. We also put this in our red pasta sauces if you like a little spice. Um, but just a little tip for you if you want like a healthier side. It's so good. Um, I've never tried this, but I honestly just bought it to have for Remy. Um, she's a big pasta gal, so I thought some spinach tornellini would probably be something she liked. So I grabbed those. For dairy, I bought some cottage cheese also for Remy. Um, and then I always buy Parmesan when I go there because we use it almost every day, I think. Okay, and then I said I was gonna buy a bunch of like pre-made meals, but honestly, not a ton of them looked super good to me and I just didn't wanna buy a bunch of stuff and then like it go bad or just not be something that we ever wanna eat. So I just stuck with what I've tried and I got the orange chicken, which we always add um, a ton of sriracha to, so it's almost like a spicy orange chicken. The vegetable fried rice for that, so that will be a really quick meal. And then I've heard that these chicken cilantro wontons are really good, 
so I thought either with a side or just like on its own this would be good and then I always buy their frozen rice so I picked that up and then I was just out of some staple things like olive oil um, we were out of peanut butter their peanut butter is really good and then also cayenne pepper I was all out of and I was actually thinking at the store so I did a big like DIY when we first moved into this house for my spice cabinet where I dumped all like my spices into pretty glass jars like this and when I was buying this I'm like this is so silly that I buy this glass jar that is basically the same size and shape and I dump it into my own glass jar I'm like I need to start going to a place that sells like spice by the bulk or whatever it's called where you could like bring your containers in and fill it because I feel like this is just such a waste um so i feel like at the new house that's gonna be a goal of mine especially for spices we use a lot i feel like i have 10 spices that we go through quite often um so i think i'm gonna try to find a way so is there like i don't really know how that works like do you bring in like a ziploc bag or like how do you fill do you bring in your like spice jars that seems kind of weird I don't know. I'm going to have to do a little research on that, but I actually haven't shown my spice jar in a really long time. If you guys want to see what it looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like. I have a whole video on like all the supplies I use to make this, the storage little container. Basically, everything is in that video if you guys want to recreate it, but it's been really awesome and honestly, it stays this organized. I I'm not like super organized all the time, but for some reason this drawer has just really worked for us and I think it's really cute. So if you guys want to see how I made that, I will link the video below. All right, I'm going to put all this stuff away and then basically clean and pack until David and Remy get home. So I will end the vlog here and I will see you guys on Sunday. Bye.